Furniture of Marquette. Now it's a cloudy, rainy day across Upper Michigan today, and at times we have had some good soaking rains go through parts of Upper Michigan, especially around the Marquette area around 3 o'clock. As we look at our local 3 radar network here, you can see that we do have some rain showers across the east, but as we get back to the central UP, a little bit of a break, but now we have more steadier to even at times soaking rains moving through parts of the western UP, and some of the more steadier soaking rains are moving into western portions of Marquette County, from Kosky Corners, Republic, and over towards Witch Lake down M95, and also into Channing and Segola. And you can also see some white popping up there on the map just east of Lake Gogebic. Radar is estimating that, yeah, there could be some snowflakes mixing on in, but for the most part, I do think we are going to stay all liquid with temperatures not warm enough, or excuse me, not cold enough for snow. Gale warnings in effect, and this is for Wednesday on Lake Superior waves 9 to 11 feet. And always, if you're viewing the waves, use caution and be careful out there, but also to note this will be a north to northwesterly wind tomorrow and with the higher lake levels driving that water on shore, there could be some minor beach flooding for the daytime on Wednesday east of Marquette and also some minor beach erosion. So heads up for anybody who hasn't pulled the boats out for the winter yet or have gotten their lakeside docks out for the winter yet. Just heads up for tomorrow. As we look at our wind gust forecast for the night, look for the winds to pick on up here as we go into the rest of the night. At times, it could be gusting over 20, maybe 30 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, we'll have some wind for the daytime on Wednesday. And the wind gust could be over 30, maybe 40 miles per hour along Lake Superior, east of Marquette, towards Munising and Grand Marais. And then as we go into Wednesday afternoon, I think the winds do start to lighten up out in the western UP. Central and east do keep the gusty winds going, maybe over 20, over 30 miles per hour. And then look for lighter winds as we go into the daytime on Thursday. As for our local three future cast here, we are looking at the rain showers to continue as we go through the rest of the night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday, definitely more clouds than sun out there. And then as we go into Wednesday afternoon, still keeping some rain showers around. Maybe some rain showers stick around Marquette, Western Elger County as we go into Wednesday night, Thursday morning. But I do think on Thursday, as high pressure starts to build in to the south and west of us, we will start to get some sunshine back. Current temperatures are in the 40s right now, but Lando Lakes at 37 degrees. And as we look at our temperature forecast for the rest of the night, temperatures actually not going far. Lows around 40 are into the 40s. A couple of inland spots may drop into the 30s. And that's about where temperatures stay as we go into the daytime on Wednesday with highs around 40 or into the 40s. And then hopefully a little bit of sunshine as we go into the daytime on Thursday will boost temperatures up a few degrees, maybe around 50 out in the interior west. So there's your seven day forecast. We got chilly and wet weather for the daytime on Wednesday along with wind. And then as we go into Thursday, we're back to at least some sunshine and same for Friday, but Friday night. And I think after the football games, we may start to see some rain. Some rain showers may linger into Saturday. Sunday does look dry, but as you can see, temperatures inching up just a little bit, and then we could have a strong fall storm system greeting us for the early part of next week. Stay tuned for the